welcome back to the channel. I missed you so much. Uh, we went on vacation and I know I promised you a video, but child, um, before we left, and if you knew here, you'll know nothing about this, but before we left, child, uh, we were having our audio and visual installed and we ran into so many issues that it completely took my day. Like it took my editing day and everything. And so I didn't get to do anything before we left. So I'm sorry. I know I owe you one in a hole. I'm gonna make it up to you. Uh, we went to the Caribbean, we went to Belize. So there's tons that I wanna share. So we'll probably double up on uh, for the next couple of weeks on videos because I've got some content that I wanna push out for the vacation, especially now that it's summer. And I wanna get you, um, I wanna let you know about the place because right now they're super affordable. So before they get real popular during the summertime, if you're talking about taking a quick little vacay, um, this is the spot for you. So today's video, we're gonna pick up where we left off. I know before we left, we were talking about some office updates. There's not been a whole lot that happened in there outside of I hung the curtains. <laughs> uh, paint is on back order, but we'll talk all about that. Uh, once we get into the video, I was able to get the family room curtains installed. I know I showed you guys those before we left. So I'll show you what those look like up close and hung. Uh, we did run into some issues, not issues, I don't wanna call it issues, because it's not bad. Uh, we did run into a little snag in the road with the curtains, not any fault, I believe, of the brand. I still absolutely love these curtains, but we do have to do some work uh, to, to finish off the customization again. You'll understand what I'm saying when we get to the video without going too deep and keeping this intro too long. So we'll chat about that today. And then if we have a little time, I'm gonna show you how I fix what's going on. And then I've got some things that I'm thinking through uh, here in the dining room. Now that the curtains are hung and I kind of see the space coming together, it's time to kind of glam it up a little bit. And I won't say glam it up because I don't have a glam size. It's time to luxe it up a little bit uh, because we have a lot of wood tones, a lot of neutrals. So it's time to start bringing some of the mood in uh, through like mirror and accessories and stuff like that. So I'm gonna kind of share what my plans are and what I'm thinking because what I originally thought for the dining room wall won't be able to happen. I'll give you some details on that once we get into the video. So if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Kay. This channel has been completely dedicated to us building our new construction home. And now that we're in, we're getting to decorate. Uh, we're a family of six. It's myself, my husband, and we have four amazing little humans one of which is going off to college in July. Uh, so a lot of the content here that you see is centered around what we're doing here in the home. And additionally, how we're balancing life has been, you know, my husband works and travels a lot. I work a lot, uh, running a business and then managing these four kids. But if you wanna learn more about me and my family on the quick quick, you can run over to places like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, Pinterest, all those good places to connect with us there. Uh, but outside of that, uh, let's get into these updates for today. Baby, you mean more to me, more to me You are not a friend of me, no Baby, you mean more to me, more to me You are not a friend of me, no. All right, so first things first, let's get into these curtains first. Let's talk curtains, um, particularly in the living room and the dining room because uh, we got a lot to go over. So the last time we chatted, I was showing you all like the hardware that I had purchased, um, the rings and stuff like that. And as we were hanging um, the curtains, we ran into a couple of snafus just because uh, one hardware, I think we need bigger rings and I'll explain why in just a second. And then two, uh, the curtains, because they are, because of the material, they are really heavy. Like they're really heavy. So they don't move as easy because of the height and the weight. So um, learning that yesterday when we were hanging them, I've had to order, um, what is the word I'm looking for? It's called a curtain draw where it helps you move the curtain back and forth because of the weight. I have one in, uh, that I ordered from Amazon that's on the way. I'm gonna test it on Friday when it gets here uh, to see if that helps um, with the movement before I order larger rings. So I'm gonna flip you around real quick here in the living room because I think uh, you can see 
I can explain better in the living room and then we'll shift over to the dining room uh, to talk about a few of the plans that I'm thinking through over there now that the curtains are in. And then I'll show you a couple of more updates around the house and then we'll be done for today. So today should be a quick one, um, but there is a lot going on. So let's turn around and hop into it real quick. All right, so I'm sorry it's a little dark. That's because I have the curtains in the dining room closed because when we go over there, it's gonna be hard to see. Uh, but the first thing I kinda wanna talk about is the quality of the curtains, y'all. If you saw on Instagram yesterday, cause I was kinda sharing the progress on Instagram yesterday. This is, this is, I'm so pleased with the quality. Okay, um, this right here is a split panel. So what I've ordered, let me give you a rundown of what we ordered. So I ordered five full panel curtains at 55 inches across, 191 inches top to bottom, which is about 16 feet or roughly shorter, like 15.9 feet, 15 feet, nine inches right there, right? So from the top of the ceiling, not the vault, that's about 22 feet, but from the top, of the ceiling down. Uh, these curtains right now are hung at 15 inches, 15 feet, seven inches, okay? That's where they're hung because I wanted a little bit of puddle down at the end, which these split panels are perfect. They're sized perfectly. I know you see a lot going on in these other panels. I'm gonna get to that in just a second, but split panel wise, they are sized appropriately. I love them and I love they are the exact same quality as the full panels. The only difference is, and I'm not sure what happened, um, the full panels are way too long. They're way too long. Now what I think may have happened, and this is a learn from K moment, what I think may have happened is in communication, um, I may have communicated a different size. I went back to look, I don't know, the final measurements that I sent them were the same height wise for the split panel and the full panels, but for whatever, whatever reason, we have extra fabric on the full panels, which is way too much, it's way too long. So I'm okay with hemming them. I know what I'm doing. I probably won't do it on camera just because I've got five panels that I need to hem. So I may do that in like an Instagram reel or TikTok, but we're gonna get them so that they're all even with this length. Dealing with custom, and there's a couple of things that I want you to be mindful of. So up top, the hardware is perfect. Like the rods are perfect play well with what's going on in the kitchen. It really pulls the space together, makes it look really cohesive. But I think because the curtains are so heavy, there's one or two things that need to happen. One, I probably need a bigger ring. Two, I definitely need that curtain draw to help me move them back and forth because right now it's really hard and it's putting tension on the actual curtain rod that I don't wanna create. Like it's not coming down or anything like that. I just don't wanna create unnecessary tension. So these slide okay, because there's no crease in the rod. So there's an anchor. So we've got anchor here, 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 and here. Everywhere you see a curtain, there's a curtain anchor attached to the wall. And I have the curtains jumped so that they cover the anchor so you don't see it while they're open. Uh, but they should slide a little bit more freely. And I don't know if it's because of the height and the weight or if it's because the curtain rings are too small. So my first move to keep from having to take all of these panels down and change the rings out was to get one of those push-pull things to see if that works. Um, if that does not rectify the situation, then I'm gonna have to order larger rings because they should glide a little more smoothly. There's no crease uh, in the rod on this one. So these move just a bit smoothly. Uh, but even now you see, I can't move it over. Like I've had to leave them open and not manipulate them so that I don't put unnecessary tension on my rod. Um, and that's gonna be a problem long-term. So I've gotta fix that. That's not on the people that made the curtains, that's on me. So uh, if the push-pull thing doesn't work, I can't think of it. Curtain draw doesn't work 
on Friday, then I'll go ahead and upgrade the rings and bring the guy back out to switch out the rings. He are, he's already been put on notice. He already knows that we're probably gonna have to switch him out. Um, so if we have to do that, then I'll just have to pay an extra couple of dollars to get him out to switch those out. But I definitely wanted to hang them because I wanted to see what they look like. And I wanted to give you guys an update. And I am absolutely pleased. <laughs> like the same quality that I talked about before with the double lining, um, the, the, the quality of the actual material, these ain't cheap. Um, these are some high quality curtains. Now with this cream color, you're gonna have to be careful because they sweep the ground. So maintenance is going to be required. You're going to have to clean them on a regular basis. Um, I, I have some dirt spots on them and my floor is clean, um, but they're sweeping the floor. So just know if you decide to go with the light color, which is why I don't go with light colors on a regular basis because they are harder to keep clean. Um, that you're going to have to do that. So with my little ones, they've already been told like immediately, <laughs> immediately upon installation curtain someone was in the curtains oh you can't find me girl get out my curtains this is not the playroom your playroom is upstairs i don't want you you know you can't touch them because they will get dirty just because of color which will require more maintenance so i'm actually i'm head over heels with these i love them uh outside of this extra length like y'all look i don't know if you can see that let me turn the camera just to make sure you can see it because it's a mess I don't know what happened here. I have to email the guy I was working with to let him know. And don't be peeking on the patio either. That's for a later video. <laughs> um, but yeah, like you see all of that? So it's gonna take me some time. I'm really comfortable with the sewing machine though. So I, I'm okay with it. I would just verify and verify again that the measurements are good so when you receive yours because it is hard finding curtains that cover this length um, when you receive yours they're the actual length that you need we put the split panels here originally i had the split panels over in the dining room but we put the split panels here because my original plan and here i'll lift you up just a little bit so you can see me My original plan was to hang five full panels here. And then I was gonna do split panels on that side and have two split panels on each side. Well, that proved to be too much fabric. So these are supposed to be 55 inches wide. So that's six feet. And I did that so that, and see, see how smooth that moves? That's because there's no crease. Um, but I did that because I wanted to be able to leave some extra room on the side. I know that the pleats take in like the material, uh, but these are like 55 inches for real, even with the double pleats, even with the double pleats. So they are true to size, but I, in my mind, and this is a question I should have asked, I should have asked if the pleats, if making the double pleats was gonna make the curtain uh, with shorter, with, with narrower because in my mind that was what was happening so i figured if i tell them 55 inches i'll get like 48 but that didn't happen you get a true 55 inch curtain panel so that proved to be too much fabric so it actually worked out where i don't need to order another panel because all i did was i put um here let me move this i put the split panels here so that they would exist next to the full panels. And then this is a full panel, so it can spread and cover these two windows. This split panel will meet it in the middle, so on and so forth. So it worked out. I, I originally thought I was gonna need another panel. I don't. Even with all of this material here, because of the pleats, when I get it, when I'm able to manipulate all the way to the top, it sits really nicely to the side. I'll probably, here you can't see me. I'll probably put, put like a hook back or something right here just to kind of, you know, expose the window. But I like the little fall over on the window. That's the whole point in having the drapes is to kind of bring a warm element in. But I absolutely love the warmth. I love the cream against the white. Um, even now, that they're up. I may not do anything with those window panes because that's a lot of contrast. I just wanted to soften the space. 
and bring some warmth and I'm happy with them. I'm really happy with them. I'll do a, a pull back shot from upstairs so you can see it. But with the exception of the length, which I'm gonna rectify, I won't do it in this video because that'll take too long. With the exception of the length, I'm absolutely happy. I'm gonna call that a miscommunication between me and the company. So all I would say is just verify, verify, verify so that you don't have to do this. It's not a big deal for me because I know how to use a sewing machine, but after you've paid for curtains, you don't wanna have to go behind them and fix them, um, get it right, over communicate so that you don't have to deal with this when they come in. If the windows were taller, y'all, I'd just hang them up. I thought about even putting them outside, but they're velvet. So I don't, I don't wanna do that, but they're great. They absolutely block out the light. We're gonna go to the dining room real quick so you can see what they look like when they're closed. Um, and then I'm gonna go, um, and kind of work on some other stuff. We'll chit chat about some other updates that we've made. Let's head over to the dining room. All right, y'all. Y'all see this mood? <laughs> y'all. I'm happy, okay? That's all I'm gonna say is I'm happy. Okay, so with the curtain closed, this is kind of what you get, okay? So they're lined in the back. I thought the lining was just gonna be aesthetic purposes, but they absolutely block out light. So you're gonna lose me for just a second because I'm gonna open it. And when I open it, because it's backlit, it's gonna be really hard to focus. But I want you to see the difference in what it looks like when they're closed and when they're open. So real quick, let me open them. And these, I, I do not close all the way. Hopefully they have the same issue. They're on the smaller rings. I think we just need some more space in the rings. So right now I'm having to push from the bottom, which is hard. And that puts unnecessary tension on your rod. Once they're shorter, once I've hemmed them, like this is as far as I can open it. Once I have the push thingy, I'm hoping that that will give me greater flexibility to open it without having to change the rings. It's, it's a prayer. I don't know if it's gonna work, it's a prayer. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to get up there and change those rings. But just to give you an example of what we're working with, here you go. I'm not gonna fool with it too much. Y'all see that difference? Like it's like night and day in here. I am not, there we go. I'm just gonna leave it as it is. There we go. I'm not gonna do it anymore than that. But y'all see that? Like, do you see that? I'm gonna get behind the camera just so I can see what you see. Yeah, you lost me. Like, you're, you aren't able to see me here. Let me adjust the camera. All right. You see the difference that that makes? 10 out of 10, I recommend. I'm gonna hem them up so that they can do the drape on the floor like I want them to do, and I am chef's kiss. Absolutely wonderful. I'll give you some close-up shots um, in a second of the actual bar with the rings. I just think the rings fit too tightly. I'm praying, because I really don't wanna have to pay extra for him to come back and change the rings. And we kind of figured this out after they were already up. Um, but I'm gonna have to, I might have to pay him for his time with the bigger ring, but I'm praying and hoping, and I'll give you an example. Here, let's go in my office. My office is junky. Don't judge me. I got campaign stuff all over the place, but let's go in my office and I'm gonna show you the difference in how these Ikea rings slide versus how these slide. I know Ikea curtains only weigh like a pound and a half. That's not the point. I'm talking about the size of the ring on the rod. It just makes it. Okay, so look, it's dark in here because these curtains are dark and I love that. We're not gonna spend a whole bunch of time in the office. We'll come back and do office updates when I've done more because this legit is the only thing that I've done. But just check this out. Like I have zero issues pulling and pushing these curtains. You see that? Zero issues, none. And that is because these are lightweight curtains. Um, and the rings are just a tad bit larger 
than the pole. So I'm thinking um, if that is the problem, then I am going to have to remedy that problem. Let me see if I can zoom in one second. I may not be able to get close enough. Yeah, I may not be able to get close enough. Let's see though. Uh oh. Nah, even with it like that, I'm gonna have to go upstairs and get the footage. But yeah, so I'm thinking those are the one or two things that are gonna have to happen in order for this to work. Okay, so real quick, let's look at the dining room wall because now that the curtains are in, I'm gonna try to see if I can get a, a good look. I um, might have to use to get some B-roll of what the space looks like. It looks really soft, really soft. Like the curtains soften it up, which is exactly what I wanted to do. They add some warmth with the color, which is exactly what I wanted to do. But it's not flat, but it's real neutral. And y'all know I like a little bit more zhish. Um, while I didn't want a lot going on in this space, I still wanted it to have a little bit of my original plans, which I also learned may or may not work. My original plans, I've had this canvas because I was gonna do some art. Um, my husband doesn't ask for a lot, but when it comes to his artwork, he is really, really particular. So he does not want artwork that someone else has in their home, which I get. I found some stuff at CB2. I found some stuff on Pinterest that was really cute. And he's like, yeah, no, because somebody else can buy it. He's weird. So he was like, well, either we commission an artist, then I would have to find somebody that I like and commission them, or you could do it because he knows that I know what to do. So I was like, well, I don't mind, you know, I'm in a painting mood, no problem. So I bought this canvas because originally I was gonna do this canvas without a frame and I was gonna do like some spackle art and put it on the wall with two sconces right next to it. Well, when I asked the electrician when he was installing the ceiling fan and the outside lights, I was like, hey, how hard is it to hardwire the sconces on the wall because I found some, I'll insert a picture of the ones that I found that I wanted. I found some and I wanna have them installed but they have to be hardwired. And what I learned is because of the height of the ceiling, there's not attic space up there. He'd have to cut sheetrock up top, find the wiring, drop the lines. He could do it, you know, where the switch wanna be, all that good stuff. So it involved a lot of cutting of my sheetrock. And I was like, yeah, I don't really feel like I wanna do that. So I think instead, from a sconce perspective, I'm going to do like the little candle holder sconces, the ones, uh, I wanna find some, see if I can find some that are kind of unique. I know we got the RH vibes all over the place. Um, and I may do those, they're super cute, but that's not entirely my style, but I want to see if I can find some candle holder sconces that I could use some LED, like modern candles in, not, like not like grandma's, but I got to see if I can source some really modern candle holder sconces and be able to use some battery operated candles. Um, but then the second part, I was like, well... If I do the artwork here, it's still canvas, even though to be framed, it might be nice, but I want a mirror. Like I have held off on buying this mirror because I don't know what size I want and I don't know where I'm going to put it. So in the living room, I've got a collaboration coming up with Havenly where they're gonna, we're gonna work together. They're gonna design my living room. And if I like the design, then I could, you know, just follow the design and purchase the pieces that they sourced. So I've been holding off on doing anything in the living room because of that collaboration. But I was like, I really want one of those mirrors, like the little, um, I can't even think of the word. This always happens to me while I'm on video, but the arch mirror, the beveled mirror, I really want one of those mirrors, like from anthropology in our house but I don't know which one I want. I know I, you know, I was gonna do a floor one in my room, but my bedroom is not that style. Um, it's a little more relaxed in my bedroom, 
But I was like, it'd be perfect, like in the dining room. But then I was like, eh, you know, it's not a formal dining room. But I could put the mirror on this wall with the sconces. But then I was like, oh, if I do that, then what am I going to do? So I'm all over the place. I'm all over the place. But I think what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to create some artwork because this artwork could either go here. It can go on this wall because I'm still against doing any type of storage solution back here because I want to keep this open. I don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff back here. So I don't want to do like a cabinet or a buffet or anything back here. So I really just want it to be art and sconces. I don't know, child. I'm thinking through that. But now that the curtains are in, it kind of got me to thinking, you know, maybe I need to bring a different texture in because it's really soft over here and I like that. But with everything that's going on on the table, um, you know, we'll accessorize the table. This probably won't be here. This is just a placeholder for now to keep these in place. But you know, I'll do candle holders and stuff on the table, I don't know. So I need to bring some more texture in here and I just didn't think the artwork, that's the point I'm trying to make. I didn't think the artwork would be enough texture. So I thought about switching the artwork out for the mirror and then placing the artwork somewhere else. Thoughts? That's my thoughts. That's what I'm thinking. And I truly do want your thoughts uh, on that one because I, I do want to figure that out so that I can go ahead and push through on that. So yeah, so that's it. That's it on the curtains. That is the most of what we've been able to do as far as um, house updates are concerned without making this video too long. Uh, in addition to that, we got all of the audio and visual installed. The speakers on the patio will be installed today. That was a lot of drama. So I'm gonna make a completely different video just talking about that because I learned a lot during that process. And if you are getting ready to install like whole house, TV, speakers, all that good stuff, there are some things that you should know before you get started so that you don't have to run into the issues that we ran into because baby, they kept me from making a video for you all. Um, we got the outside furniture. Yay! So the living room furniture for the outside is here. I've got to go outside and clean up. It's kind of all over the place, but I'm going to be sharing that probably as soon as next week uh, because I'm so excited about that. We spend more time outside, even with all these TVs and stuff that we got installed in here. We also got a TV installed outside and we spend more time outside than we do inside, except for my husband. He does go into his um, newly equipped theater room that don't have no furniture in it. It lays on the floor to turn on his surround sound. And when he turns on his surround sound, ain't nothing going to happen in here, which is probably why I spend my time outside because if he's in here watching TV, he ain't watching nothing in here. Not until he gets used to his surround sound because it's a whole lights, camera, action going on in there. Uh, but I'll share that with you guys in a later video. We'll get back to the office in a minute, but I think we're going to go outside because there's some things that I want to do outside, especially now that it's the summertime. I've kind of been waiting on that furniture to kind of put some things in motion. I've been able to plan out my deck. I go and meet with the hot tub guy again on Friday just to kind of finalize some stuff. So I'll share those plans with you. Uh, but yeah, so that's today's video. I didn't realize it was going to turn into everything curtains, but I kind of wanted to chat about those because I did learn some stuff in hanging those. And now that I have to fix them, um, I just wanted to make sure because a lot of you were reaching out about the curtains. So I just wanted to make sure I gave you an up close look at what things look like, because I know that's really, really helpful. So that's it for today's video. I'm going to go and get the sewing machine set up, do some measuring and stuff so that I can get these curtains hemmed. Uh, and then we'll be back. I've got some footage that we're going to share from the trip, y'all. Belize was amazing, and the resort we stayed at was, uh, if you are like me, when you go on vacation, you want to wind down, you want to do a little adventures, but you want to kind of get away from it, y'all, it's, it's, I can't say enough about it. So we did a room tour. We've got some property footage. I want to share it with you because right now it's super affordable. Like, it's almost like staying in the U.S. at like a really nice hotel, is that affordable? And it's in the Caribbean. So I want to share it with you right now before they get super, super popular. So if you're thinking about taking a summer vacation, you and Bay, because it's really, I think it's designed for adults. The kids can go, but 
it's not a lot for them to do. So if you trying to get away for a quick vacation, you know, you don't mind getting on a plane, you don't mind, you know, traveling in a small plane to get to where you got to go. I'm going to tell you all about that too. Uh, then I want to share it with you because you can get it at a really affordable price and get a really luxury experience. So I'm going to push that out too. So we're probably going to double up on a few videos just to get that out. But yeah, we're back in the swing of things. Uh, it takes a little while. I'm going to do a house up like a what to expect after you've moved in type video because everything's a delay. There are some things that you're just going to have to get to. And I'm, I'm learning <laughs> to get to that process, especially now that we're moving into more custom work. Instead of just going to buy stuff, you've got to put on your patient's hat because you ain't going to get it right now or anytime soon. But we'll talk about that in later videos. But yeah, if you want to see, I probably won't do like a dedicated video to me hemming the curtains. You could catch that over on the TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that. But outside of that, we're done for today. So I'm going to hop off of here, edit this up so you can get it. And then I'm going to hem some curtains, cook some dinner for the kids and chit chat with y'all over in the Insta stories and on TikTok until we release another video. Bye for now.